Welcome to Abbas Gallery channel. Diesel is now synonymous with dirty, thanks to Dieselgate and as a result, oil burners lost favor in the mainstream. General Motors, however, thinks there's still a future for the diesel engine and wants to prove that it's not as bad as we think it is. Enter the 2018 Chevrolet Cruze TD, a vehicle GM hopes will help dispel the stigma on oil burners and become an alternative to gas-powered econo boxes and hybrids. Under the hood of the 2018 Chevrolet Cruze TD is a 1.6-liter turbo diesel i4 good for 137 HP and 240 lbft of torque. It's paired to a 9-speed automatic transmission that GM co-developed with Ford. At the track, the diesel-powered Cruze sprinted to 60 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds and finished the quarter mile in 16.5 seconds at 83.3 miles per hour, putting it on PAR with the gas-powered model and the rest of the compact class in straight line speed. Road test editor Chris Walton noted that with all of its torque available at 1,500 rpm, it can easily spin its front tires with the traction control off. Walton also noted that the 9-speed automatic shifts so quickly and smoothly that you can't even feel it shifting through around 6 gears on the acceleration run. When it comes to braking, the 2018 Cruise TD stopped from 60 miles per hour in 116 feet, which is short for the class. Walton also noted that the brake pedal was firm and had a short travel and that braking performance was consistent. The 2018 Cruise TD finished the figure 8 in 26.9 seconds with a 0.64 G average. On the skid pad the car generated an average of 86 centimos. Testing director and figure 8 guru Kim Reynolds noted that at its limit, the Cruise TD has a lot of understeer and that even with the electronic nannies off, they're not fully disabled. Reynolds liked that the car was predictable and that it didn't torque steer you into corners. Once we were done at the track, we took the 2018 Cruise out on the road to see how it performs as a daily commuter on the streets of Los Angeles. One of the Cruise's standout features is its comfortable ride. The suspension does a great job isolating the cabin from potholes and bumps found across Los Angeles' less than perfect roads. With the optional 18-inch alloy wheels that come with the R's package on the diesel hatchback and the gas-powered Premier trims, the car does get unsettled over large imperfections. Like the Cruise Premier, the Cruise TD with the R's package comes with a Watts linkage rear suspension, Z-Link in GM speak, which helps it ride better than variants with the more common torsion beam. At $31,765, our 2018 Chevrolet Cruze TD hatchback tester is expensive. That gets you better fuel economy than the gas-powered version, but you also lose out on active safety tech such as forward collision warning, high beam assist, a following distance indicator, lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. Is it worth it? Not really. You get a smooth ride and plenty of torque, but the Cruise TD is no quicker than the gas-powered model, and you get fewer features while paying quite a bit more. It's no value proposition, but if you must have a diesel-powered compact car, there isn't really any other choice after Dieselgate. Just make sure you can deal with its lack of refinement. <laughs>